New Bank of England Governor Mark Carney chose the Midlands town of Nottingham for his first major speech because he said it was a more important bellwether of the real economy than London in setting interest rates. He spoke to some 350 business people in this area of higher than average unemployment which is renowned for its manufacturing and engineering expertise. The FT talked to two of them before and after the speech. Simon Gray co-founded his recruitment company four years ago. Trends in the labour market in Nottingham, last couple of months there's been some more positive signs, the phone's been ringing more. Um, I'm not sure whether that will continue in the run-up to Christmas, it's always difficult to say. I think a lot rests on um, confidence, it's all down to confidence. I think if we have more certainty that interest rates will stay as they are for the foreseeable future, even if it's not three years, we would make some, some bolder decisions in terms of hiring, uh, in terms of capital projects. Mark Goldby, based in the same business park in the Nottingham suburb of Beeston, runs a high-tech electronics manufacturing company. And we've seen the majority of our growth, which has doubled in the last three years, um, coming from export. And currently, uh, UK businesses are very competitive globally. Um, really, I'd like to see some further stimulus domestically. Um, I'm hearing that it's difficult to access finance uh, of all types, um, and that's clearly a concern. Carney's central message was that the Bank of England will not even consider raising rates from their rock-bottom levels until unemployment falls to at least 7%. The bank thinks this will take three years. Markets remain doubtful it will take that long, but he played down their scepticism. We do not intend even to consider raising it before unemployment falls to 7%. And again, when unemployment does reach that point, we'll control whether a rise is warranted taking into account the strength of the recovery and the outlook for inflation. But did the governor manage to, to convince the audience? If what he's clarified for me is that he's setting uh, a review point, a stake marker in the ground that as soon as unemployment falls below 7%, then they will review interest rates. Now, for me, that's clearly a substantial time away. It's, it's 20, 28, 36 months away. So to me, that's a very clear message that there is some... Um, opportunity for businesses to take advantage of these extremely historic low interest rates for investment requirements. Um, for, the, for the forward guidance, um, he convinced me that interest rates will stay at 0.5% for the foreseeable future. Um, unemployment appears to be the trigger um, and he was quite honest to say he doesn't know when uh, that rate will fall below 7% and even when it does, it's not guaranteed to spark an increase in, in, in the rate of interest. So that was quite refreshing. Um, it's kind of allayed my fears a little bit about the inflation rate. Um, although that's been an you know, important mandate in this country, it seems to be a, something we can tolerate for a time to get the, to get the growth uh, and the recovery um, going. With his audience in mind, Mark Carney rolled out a measure which the Bank of England hopes will do more to boost lending. Accordingly, I can confirm today that for major banks and building societies meeting the 7% capital threshold, the Bank of England will reduce the level of required liquid asset holdings. The effect will be to lower total required holdings by £90 billion once all eight of the major institutions have met their threshold. That will help underpin the supply of credit since every pound currently held in liquid assets is a pound that could be lent to the real economy. Uh, Governor Carney's um, emphasis around the liquidity uh, targets for the, for the banks was where, very much welcomed in my eyes. The main reason that um, although the forward guidance and, and fixing of interest rates at a relatively low rate for the next few years is going to be a great stimulus for business, it clearly needs to be the follow-through capability of the high street banks to provide the actual lending and finance. There may be more liquidity measures that could be put into play to give finance to, you know, to businesses such as, such as uh, mine. However, I'm still, I think there's still a slight disconnect in terms of liquidity that is there and access to liquidity by SME business owners and I think that's a gap that probably won't be filled by the Bank of England, but may be filled by somebody else. Carney has been put in contrast now, to his professorial predecessor, no, Mervyn King, uh, even being called rock star of central well, bankers and making references to uh, musicians. It was. And remarkably, the UK is no more productive than it was back in 2005. And to put it in context, that was before Nottingham's own Jake Bug got his first guitar. And since then, as you know, I know. 
Uh, he's had a number one record in a string of very successful gigs. He's, be he's become a lot more productive. Um, and the critical qu question is how much more and how quickly can productivity improve across the broader economy? What did his audience make the of the show? The central view is that I think it became more charismatic, his performance, as it went on. I think there was certainly... Um, um, it was a cautious start, I should say. Um, it opened up, and the Q&A was probably... There was more insight to his ca character in the Q&A session. Um, I thought it was a very charismatic performance. Um, he was asked a question at the end uh, about uh, the currency. Um, and he said, well, you know, markets go up, markets go down. So, uh, you know, he's, 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 he's very charismatic, he's very engaging, and he's very believable, and that's the important point. Markets might be unconvinced by the new governor, but he appeared to have won over the Nottingham crowd. Claire Jones, Financial Times.